has... Oh my gosh! Y'all, Emily can drop her handkerchief. Oh, oh! Oh! <gasps> Hello everyone and welcome back to the Royal Regency series. So it has been a few months since we have had an episode. Oh, now we are back um, and we are starting off with a ball. Very exciting. We are at the Willow Creek Palace. It is quite cloudy, but I have already invited guests. This is Lady Jane. Is she even out in society? Yeah, she's not. I don't know why she's here. I think she tried to sneak out and come to the event. I don't think she's supposed to be here. Is she gonna go inside? Oh, I think she's trying to go inside. Okay, well, that'll be interesting. I, I don't know if she's allowed in, um, but oh, we have Henry here. Henry was being a, a rake in the last episode, and we're going to touch on that in this episode because Lady Ezra saw him canoodling with another woman. She walked in on accident and now he's like, what do I do? I have to stop her from like saying anything. Um, so it looks like our guests are already getting some food. Oh, hello. Queen Ingrid was cheated on by, s wait, what? When? Like just now? <gasps> okay, she seems like the jealous type, I'm not gonna lie. What happened? What did you do? Were you flirting with somebody, King Neil? No, it doesn't, I mean, if he was, I don't know where. Okay, Queen Ingrid is not in the mood in this episode so far, so we're starting off with some drama already. I'm going to call to Meal, but look at her, she is slaying. Like, look how amazing she looks. She is, okay, she might have just been wronged. I don't know what her husband did, but sh did I just call King, I wait, I'm sorry. I said Neil for the king, didn't I? It is not King Neil. What is his name? <laughs> Hans, it's Hans. All right, we have Hans, he's the king. Queen Ingrid, and then Prince William, he is the crown prince, and Prince Neil. That is the Willow Creek royal family. I am messing things up. And then we have Lady Jane, who has, oh my gosh, y'all. What? The queen just slapped Lady Elena? Everyone stood up. Everyone is like, hold on. I feel like back then, nothing would have come from that though. Were, were y'all flirting? What happened? No, no, Hans wasn't flirting with Lady Elena. That's his sister. Bubbles. Why are you barking? Bubbles. Bubbles is barking too. Bubbles is in on, on this. What? happened oh my gosh queen ingrid just slapped her sister-in-law oh my gosh and lady ezra has just arrived and she is looking irritated oh my gosh this is such a mess okay and we've got parasols inside we're not supposed to have the parasols inside uh but we're calling to a meal i'm gathering everybody i've locked the doors to the bedroom so hopefully nobody sneaks in there um but i have left the parlor rooms open and then once everyone has eaten we will go ahead and make our way into the ballroom i did hire a pianist i don't know where they are i cannot believe that just happened okay well besides that piece of drama. <laughs> Bubbles! Okay, anyway, besides that piece of drama, we're gonna have to figure all of that out later. We should be greeting the monarchs of the other kingdoms who are here. Can I not thank him for coming? Why is the only object to insult go away? Impish, impish pe pester. Ask about food, maybe? Oh my gosh, Ingrid, I'm sorry. You need to play host. I don't know what's going on. It said that she had been cheated on, but there's nothing that it says her husband did. Also, oh my goodness, so Queen Ingrid has the niche trait, proper trait, family-oriented, snob and jealous aristocracy we happy to have a child fear of being cheated on wealthy social climber also they got a dog this is john claude he is very very cute and he is like the yappiest little pomeranian that i feel like usually sticks by queen ingrid y'all this event just like started out as a huge mess okay i want dancing to happen now so we are going to go dance let's just bring all the hosts up here now, in the last episode, we had, or we got a little peek of some rivalry with Prince Neil and Prince William. Um, so, before 
this, I just got some uh, relationship sentiments or like dynamics with Ingrid, their mother. Interesting, they have bad compatibility, um, but William and his mother Ingrid, they got the supportive dynamic, parented passively and bad compatibility. Ability. So you guys get to kind of see and get a peek into what their dynamics and relationships are like But then with Ingrid and Neil what popped up was the difficult dynamic So there's already some rivalry with Neil and William Neil gets very jealous of William and now there's this whole dynamic with their parents The mom is more supportive of William than he is than she is of Neil and then um, Their dad Hans. I don't think has a good relationship with either of of them. William, they actually have a more negative relationship. They have awful compatibility. And then with Neil, there's like literally no relationship. An unhappy child. A negative relationship with a relaxed parent. Oh my gosh. No sentiments whatsoever. So we'll see if any dynamics show up with them. Y'all know what I just realized? Elena is Ezra's mother. So Ingrid just slapped Ezra's mother? Like what? Okay, I, I had to do some time passing. Oh, well, also we have Ingrid and Hans. Apparently they've worked things out and are now dancing. Look, look how elegant that dress looks, the animation, like everything, every little bit of that. Even Queen Irina is admiring them. Okay, we are going to serve some macarons. Call the meal so everyone can come upstairs because I want people dancing and I want to settle what we saw in the last episode. So we saw that Henry, we still have some moodlets, it didn't happen that long ago. Um, so Ezra has witnessed a scandal. Uh, Lady Ezra saw something, not for their eyes, it's an outright scandal. I kind of wonder if she was even supposed to be at that gentleman's club to begin with. I feel like Henry was like, after all of it, he's like, wait, 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 shh, shh. And then he goes, wait, why are you here? And then Ezra is like, ah, I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about, sir. She's in good company. We have like old times. So Henry, oh dear, he's feeling very flirty. He, like a fairy tale. In the stories and the novels, a prince can fall in love with a servant or a governess with a lord. Who's to say it can't happen for a king head? Wait, for Henry? Wait, what? Is that because he woohooed with someone who wasn't royal? Is he into her though? Miyoko. Oh my god, he's got a high romance now with Ella instead of Ezra. I think with Ezra, it's because they were arguing in the last episode. Miyoko, they have bad compatibility. Oh my god, they got a really high romance, but they have really low friendships. So I honestly don't know if he sees Miyoko like that. I, I wonder if she might be using him for security, you know? He's a prince. He is the heir. Oh my gosh, if she had his baby, she'd be set for life. He would pay for everything for the rest of her life. But he does need to talk to Ezra and be like, hey, hey, hey. So they had a bit of a, a little bit of an argument in the last episode. Can you stop walking, Ezra, please? I'm trying to chase you. We're literally chasing you. Where are you going? Call over. Be like, wait, I, I, I need to talk to you. Also, while we are here, last time Emma Emily was dancing with Duke Emmett, I believe. So let, why don't we talk to Emmett? Tell a joke about politicians, do an impression. I don't think Emily is much for impressions. Small talk, she, she's much, we'll, we'll do some small talk. Ask about personality, style, ask about chemistry together, ask about parents. Okay, Ezra's talking to her mother right now and I don't know if she has told her mother what she saw. Oh, Lady Ezra's a dog lover. Okay, other sims, ask about another sim. Ask about Miyoko. <laughs> You're like, oh, hello. Yes, um, I just need to speak to your daughter for a quick moment, although they're having a group conversation. Um, but I just need to speak to your daughter for a quick moment. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Miyoko. In front of her, her mother, she's acting like she has no idea. So I feel like this is giving Henry a clue, like, okay, saturated from rake tree, Henry. Oh, but also a mediocre woohooing, interesting. Incomparable stress. Also bringing out the best from adoring somebody nearby. Wait, who, who, who are you flirting with? Stop, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. There's stuff going up 
Wait, the romance is going up between him and Ezra, and it was in a group conversation with his with her mother, though. Can we can we just ask to talk to her in private? Oh my gosh, you got okay, okay. Wait, Neil, hold on. Neil asked Emily to dance. Emmett is literally just standing there, like, oh yeah, that happened. We also have Ella and oh my god, I love the fans. We have Ella, Adeline, and Raina all here. I wonder if Adeline would ask Prince Sahar to dance? Let, let, let's have her ask, because I, I feel like that that seems, you know, she she wants to be with the best, and what better than, like, the future king? So we're going to do, let's see, romance, ask to dance. She's going to ask him to dance. They don't have much of a relationship at all. Oh my god, I can't believe Emily. Oh my gosh, and Gwen, and we have Emmett. They are dancing together as well. Interesting. What happened here? Like, I swear Emily and Emmett were just talking. Um, and then we have Ezra and Henry. They are stargazing. Y'all should be chaperoned. It looks like we do. We have a witness here. Lady Elisa, she is here. Where's your mother? Elena should be here too. But I just, I think he needed to have a private conversation. And she's like, we need to chaperone. I think she wasn't supposed to be at the gentlemen's club, which is kind of why she's acting like she doesn't know anything. There, There's not much that he can do. It sounds like, like, I, I, I can't, I don't see anything about trying to convince her that, that it didn't happen or anything like that. But I think that that's kind of what we covered in the last episode when they were arguing, but they were, y'all, they were flirting. Oh good, everybody's dancing. Oh, it looks like Emily and Neil have stopped though. Neil, are you going to try to talk to Emily more? We all saw, thank you for coming, tell engaging story. We all saw her like eyeing Prince William. So I'm so curious if she still feels the same, but also something because it said Henry was surrounded by someone that he adores. Henry's sentiments about Ezra, adoring. Prince Henry just wants it the best for Lady Ezra and thinks she's so wonderful. Also, they've got good compatibility and their romantic interest. I think that is only the sentiment about Henry for Ezra. Ezra doesn't have one for Henry. I kind of wonder if she doesn't think that highly of Henry, especially after what she saw. So like, if Henry tries to flirt with her, affection, declare her love for flirtation let's do sweet talk he's trying to sweet talk her but she already knows he's a rake i feel like she's called him a rake she knows this already but is she going to be receptive of this is this one of those situations where she knows he is the way she is they're both the incomparables too i feel like there's just a lot of there's a lot of people that want them to happen. I feel like their parents are like, you know, this would be a great match. They're both the incomparables. Ezra comes from a great line. You know, her uncle is the king of Willow Creek. I think this would be so ideal. So I wonder if the parents are going to try to arrange a marriage. And this is what we're saying is Ezra's dance card. So Henry is asking her to dance. And she's like, I, I think she still thinks he's a rake and she doesn't think that highly of him. So I'm going to have her, let's see, let let's argue a little bit. They were arguing in the last episode he is feeling flirty she's feeling inspired but I just think like you know he complimented her I don't think she's really having it necessarily they still have a little bit of a romantic relationship going on oh the family dynamic jokesters Lord Louis and Prince William are they cousins they they're cousins right sure that's fine okay Ezra is like listen you can try to sweet talk me all you want um, but I saw what you did I just I'm not a fan of your actions. I'm not a fan of, you know, like, if this is how you really are, I thought you were better than that. I kind of already said this in the last episode, too. How about what are we talk? Wait, what are we? What are we? What would he say to that? Is that a romance thing? Or maybe he should have asked her that. Maybe he should have asked her. Because they had such a high romance relationship before, and now they do not as much anymore. Okay, I think now is a good time, though, for Emily to work up the courage to talk to Prince William, even though she just danced with his brother. Wait, so they've they've kind of, you know, talked before. They're, she's in a group conversation right now with Neil, but I think, you know, Apologize for what? And then Sahar was just dancing with Lady Reyna, which I don't think was, or not Reyna, sorry, Lady Adeline, which I don't think was supposed to be a romantic thing, or at least he didn't take it as a romantic thing. <gasps> oh, what? She, <laughs> yeah, Henry, they're not on, 
Wait, what? They're not on good terms right now. Is Henry that smitten with Ezra? Is he really that smitten? Maybe this is the first girl that's like challenged him. And I don't want him to see that as like, a, oh, I, I need to win her like a prize. I hope he doesn't see her like that. But he's like, she sees through my BS. She is like, you know, she knows what she wants or what she doesn't want. <laughs> maybe, okay, maybe this isn't like an official capacity proposal. Maybe it's kind of like a hint joke thing. Maybe he's like, wow, you're really, a, like you're challenging. Like you really, I don't know. What? Anyway, something about like, we would make a really great team. And Ezra's like, no. She would reject that. She'd be like, kind of caught off guard. Like, did he just say this and be like, no. What were you guys, where are you? Oh my God, you proposed in front of her mother? Her mother was probably like, also Ingrid and Elena are now sitting next to each other, which I think is funny considering Ingrid just slapped her at the beginning of this. Oh my gosh. I mean, she's the one who rejected it and she's feeling very confident after. Ezra's so confident. What a queen for real. And now it's an awkward conversation because he just proposed to her in front of her mother. Her mom was probably like, oh my gosh. Like she's probably all for trying to get them into arranged marriage. Okay, I need y'all to let me know. Should Elena try to get them into an arranged marriage? Like. Would she be the type to kind of ignore her daughter's wishes? Henry, I feel like is like not giving up on Ezra now. Now I feel like his foe, like he went from rake to now his full focus is on Ezra. But he doesn't have that much of a relationship with the like a romantic relationship. He even actually has a higher one with Ella. Good compatibility. Not really any necessary compatibility between Adeline and him, romantic interest. She was definitely interested in him more than anything else, I think. And then good compatibility with Ezra. Oh my gosh, he must have like a for real crush to the point where he just proposed and she's got bitterness towards him. Henry, you're gonna have to do better than that. You are gonna have to do so much better than that. You can't just propose and expect her to be all for it. Oh my God, his mother is here too. <gasps> What is happening? This is wild. Oh my, okay, all right. We need to focus on some of the others. That's insane. <gasps> he proposed. <laughs> what was going on here? What did I want you guys to do? Oh my God. Oh, oh, Sahar's talking with Ella and with Reyna. I don't know where Adeline went. It looks like Emily is talking to William. Hilarious repartee, interesting. Y'all, Emily can drop her handkerchief. She is not very flirty. Maybe she actually drops her handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not like a move. Maybe she just for real, for real drops it. She's like, you know, a bit of a clutch. So maybe she literally drops her handkerchief. I have to see this. I have to see this. Oh, oh, she like literally drops it and he gets it for her. <gasps> Unflirty lesson. Emily's un. Okay, all she did was drop her handkerchief. That wasn't much, but he did pick it up for her. Is he feeling feeling flirty from romantic? I forgot he's romantic. Goof bumps. Awkward encounter from socialization. And is is Neil flirty? What is his thing? What are they talking about? From paranoid trait. Envious from jealous trait because he sees people like as couples around him. I think the goal with anybody. Oh my gosh, are you? to gossiping, I love that. Um, I think the goal with anyone who gets with Emily is going to have to prioritize the friendship first. Okay, also I am very, very much, oh, pry for secrets, you can do that. I, I, I'm very much all for, I think that Lady Adelaide, or Adeline, she would try to get with Sahar. So I think that's the goal for her for this ball. They might be in like a slightly bit of a group conversation. So we're going to have her flirtation. Oh, she can drop the handkerchief too. We're gonna have her flirt with Fan. Has the secret moo who? What? What? <laughs> Back in the day. 
today, I wanted to help out the store I worked at, so I brought in my cow plant to attract customers. You know, sparks of interest with something dangerous and exciting. I didn't know it would get so out of hand. A bigger cow plant meant more customers, so nightly feedings were a buzz. It grew and it grew, and as it grew, it wanted more. I couldn't supply its demands. It be Okay, this is just the plot to Little Shop of Horrors. And so it began eating customers and even ate the owner. I knew my cow plant had to be stopped, so I enlisted help to make sure it was sent to a secret place where it could never hurt another sim. I couldn't let my cow plant just take over the world. That was one mean green monster. I think that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Sahar, because he's so awkward and like socially awkward, he he makes things up. Not th I mean, he's an interest. He's perfectly interesting. He's literally a prince, but maybe he just like makes things up sometimes. That is wild. Oh my god, Ella! Ella is so into this conversation. Also, how did it become such a group conversation so fast? Share insecurities. Okay, I'm going to have Adeline try to get Sahar away, so ask to stargaze. It looks like this is so cute. Ezra is William's cousin, and it looks like she is trying to talk to them. Oh, she's stabbing herself with a handkerchief. She's had a night! She just got proposed to kind of. I don't want to say it was like an official proposal. Like he didn't get down on one knee. He wasn't like, I love you, be my wife. Like anything like that. I think it again was just a joke that he, he was just kind of a, a joke, a joke. If she was for it, I think Henry would, would be for it too. But what well, would he though? He's kind of a rake. Would he be ready to settle down? I, I really just think the situation right now is Henry is very smitten by Ezra. Like very. He adores her. He wants what's best for her. But he also loves messing with her and teasing her. <gasps> I really value the time we spend together. I think it's made us closer than ever. William and Emily are talking a lot to each other. They're like spending all night chatting. And you, oh, 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 she said no to the rose. They are like chatting a lot. And I feel like, you, oh, they're <gasps> Hug. Let's see, talk about dreams. They're having some deep conversations and they're chatting all night. And you know that like gossip tends to spread when that happens too. Oh my gosh, what a night. Okay, Adeline though is outside with Prince Sahar. I think I'm gonna have her try to flirt with him. Let's do romance. Ooh, flirtation. There's no chaperone though. Flirt with Fan. Let's try this. Where is your chaperone? They should come outside. Or maybe you all should go in. Inside. I think Adeline knows better. Okay, she's trying to flirt with him. She's trying to flirt with him. Is okay. I, I I don't think Sahar is that flirty, so it might take a bit for anything to happen. But I think she's like really I guess targeting Sahar. Let's have you drop your handkerchief too. You know, Emily tried that with William. I don't think anything really came from it, but I I, I feel like Emily just straight up dropped her handkerchief. Like that that is she just didn't mean to do it as any sort of flirtation. Okay, okay, Adeline has dropped her handkerchief. Sahar has picked it up for her. Oh, all right, now there is, now there is some romance. So, there's a little bit going on here. I wonder if Adeline might ask Sahar to go on a chaperone date. Um, William and Emily, they are definitely having a, a good talk. It looks like Amaya too. She's kind of come in to check on them. Um, you know, she's Emily's cousin. So she's like, oh, like y'all are talking a lot, aren't you? They're super close. I feel like they're besties, Amaya and Emily. I also kind of wonder if there's any sort of rivalry here. We did see that Adeline doesn't like Emily. But now Adeline is going for Sahar, which is Emily's cousin. But, but Neil was just dancing with Emily and now he sees that she is talking with his brother, William. So what if he like try, you're my person, I love hanging out with you. Maybe we should make it official. <gasps> Okay, I, I don't know. Would Emily like say that complete? Maybe she like hints at it. Does Neil hear this? Because is he going to try it? Maybe, okay, William hasn't even asked Emily to dance, but Neil asked her to dance. What if he, do you think he would ask her to dance in front of his brother? Oh my God, it's 6 a.m., my goodness. Break out the candles, make a romantic, wait, what, what? 
for the first time. Oh my gosh, this outfit. Okay, they're just taking a break from the party to go woohoo. Oh, this is definitely not the first time they've woohooed. I mean, they have sons, so interesting. Okay, Um. meanwhile, their son. So Neil, Neil did ask Emily to dance in front of William. He is literally watching them and still chatting with Princess Emily. Hold your horses from successful, unsuccessful romance. Maybe Prince William is trying too hard on Flirty Sims, just don't like to be romance. Okay, so he, so here's the thing. William's trying to take the approach. He's learning that Emily isn't that romantic and doesn't like to be flirted with that much. Meanwhile, Neil is trying, I feel like trying to flirt with her, but he is envious of his brother. Like he doesn't actually, he's not actually that interested in Emily. He's just trying to show up his brother. I don't know if they would argue in front of everyone, but I feel like after they dance, maybe accuse of spying, impish, pesher, argue, argue about who's better. So I, I think that we're gonna have them do that. Um, Adeline. Okay, so now they have a chaperone. Um, I also don't think Amaya likes Adeline that much either. And now she's seeing that her brother and Adeline are just like chatting and flirting a little bit. I don't think Amaya is for this. And it looks like Henry's just chatting with his parents. Maybe he's filling them in, sort of, on what he wants to. Maybe they're questioning him, like, what's, why, what is going on with you and Ezra? Like, what in the world? Like, and he's like, he's like, honestly, nothing really. Like, I don't think he wants to tell his parents all that much. And I love that we have the Oasis Springs girls just like gossiping over here. They're gossiping with their cousin, Elisa. Oh my gosh. And it does look like Neil and William are already arguing. Emily was out of there real fast. Or or maybe they're kind of doing this, trying to do it when no one can hear. Why is their friendship so high? I feel like it shouldn't be that high. Maybe we should make it lower. Shout forbidden words. This just, you know, they're, they're kind of messy brothers, I feel like. Oh my gosh. Okay, a lot has happened at this ball. We got a freaking proposal. We got a slap. It started with a slap. Oh my gosh. I think this is a good time to end this video. <laughs> so in the next episode, we'll kind of play during the day. I think it's kind of good to switch off between, you know, a big event and then like daytime activities. So we can kind of sort through and do chaperone dates and, and they can go to like promenade and all that stuff. So we can just have like a, a figuring things out from the night before. I can't believe Henry proposed, even if it was in like a, a joking sort of way. Let me know what y'all think. So make sure to hit that like button if you have not already and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can see when another episode comes out and we will see more of this chaos in the next episode. Bye.